Hi there, it's Sasia. What questions do you find most difficult in IELTS reading? When I asked this question on Telegram, most people voted for matching headings. And I fully agree. So, before filming this video, I took the most recent official IELTS practice tests and completed all the questions of this type. And I'd love to tell you what I've discovered. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let me show you the task. Choose the correct heading for each paragraph from the list of headings below. And then you see a box with your headings. In the IELTS test, you will always see Roman numerals next to them. And then your questions are at the bottom from 14 to 20, and each question represents one paragraph or one section. You will always find more options than questions. For example, six questions with eight options or seven questions with nine options. And matching headings is usually located in the second or third section of your test where questions are already more difficult. In a paper-based exam, you can actually find this task before the passage, and this is the most intuitive way to approach it to match headings as you're reading the passage for the first time. So here are the steps I follow whenever I see matching headings. First of all, read the passage title to figure out what this text is about. Then read all the headings, highlight keywords. Then quickly read the first paragraph. Don't try to understand everything, just read to get the general idea of what it's about. And then try to find the answer. Read all the headings again and choose the one that matches the first paragraph. It's quite likely that you won't be able to find all the matches straight away. This task takes time. So here are a few tips that will help you get through. If you are hesitating between two options, write down both answers on your question sheet, not on your answer sheet, of course. If you're not certain about an answer, put a question mark. If you can't find the answer, move on. You return to this question later. Once you're done with the first paragraph, read the second, try to find the matching heading, and so on. And by the way, cross out any headings that you've already used. You should go through all the questions and then come back to those you couldn't answer or were not certain about. Not spending too much time on any single question and instead coming back to them is key to success in this task. Why? Well, if you were hesitating between two options before, now there is a good chance that one of them is taken and the answer becomes obvious. Or if you have a couple of unanswered questions but far fewer options to choose from, you may be able to find answers you couldn't see before. Also, uh, remember I told you to put a question mark next to any answers you're not certain about. Here is why. If you've chosen an incorrect answer to one of the questions, it will prevent you from answering another question correctly. So if you can't find the answer, check among the headings you've already used, particularly those you are not certain about. And finally, match all the headings on the question sheet and then transfer your answers to the answer sheet. If you're taking a computer-based exam and you know that you usually struggle with this task, you may wish to match all the headings on the sheet of paper you are given and then select your answers on your computer. There are also a couple of things you should be careful about in this task. Don't read only the first sentence or the first and last sentence of each paragraph. Reading them can give you a general idea of what this paragraph is about, but it won't help you match headings. This task is built in such a way that you must read everything to find correct answers. Don't look for exact words either. Look for the main idea. If the option is correct, 
then the main keywords will be paraphrased. That's the way IELTS test writers create these tests. And if you can see some matching keywords, probably this option is wrong, so they didn't bother changing them. Now, let me show you several questions from an official test and let's use them to practice. Ready? Okay, here is the first question. Please go ahead, pause the video and find the answer. Ready to continue? The answer is a proposal to take control away from the driver. Why? I think the answer is mainly at the end of the paragraph. When we are reading about the radical idea that has been suggested, well, that's a proposal. Then, directly regulating the speed and spacing of individual cars with central computers and sensors that communicate with each car's engine and brake controls. So, computers communicate with the engine and brakes, not the driver. So, to take control away from the driver. That's the answer. Ready for the next question? Please pause the video now. Okay, the answer is areas of doubt and disagreement between experts. Here is why. This whole paragraph is about the differences of opinion between civil engineers and physicists or experts. And it describes how they have very different views. So some keywords are skepticism or they questioned. So we have doubt and disagreement. Here is the next question. Please pause the video now. Ready to continue? The answer is the impact of driver behavior on traffic speed. Let's read this bit. When a driver in a fast lane breaks a little, the shock wave travels back much more rapidly. Each following driver has to react more quickly. Consequently, or as a result, as the road becomes congested or full of cars, the faster moving traffic is the first to slow down. So this is a description of the impact of driver behavior on traffic speed or what happens when one driver breaks a little. So how many questions could you answer correctly? Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see the full text and a couple more questions, I'll link the IDP website where I found this task in the description. Matchy headings are among the questions that do not come in order, but most IELTS reading questions do. This means that you can read the first question, then start reading the passage until you find your answer, then read the next question, continue reading the passage, find your next answer, and so on. This strategy can save you a lot of time during your exam and help you answer more questions. I have a detailed video about my IELTS reading strategy right here, and a video about the second toughest type of questions true, false, not given is available too. Thank you so much for watching me today. Good luck with your preparation and your exam. Bye!